I thought we'd do a white chocolate mocha or white chocolate latte. I don't know, I'm just swinging it, but I want white chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna try it with this today, but you guys just know that you can do whatever drink with almond milk or oat milk. You don't necessarily have to have like true dairy. So I'm gonna do it with this. It's gonna be ice. I would do it with the ice Leggero, but it's out of stock. And a lot of you have messaged me on the side like, you know, I can't find it anywhere. I know some of the my friends like on Instagram, they found it at local stores. So if you guys have local Nespresso boutiques in your area, check there. But online, unfortunately, they're out of stock. So I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with just Bianco Leggero, which they have Bianco Leggero all the time. So this is the pod we're going to use. Bianco Leggero is like a double espresso pod but it's made for milk. So whether it's iced or not, I feel like it still tastes the same. Honestly, I don't know the science behind those ice pods, ice coffee pods. So I'm gonna show you how Bianco Leggero does over ice. Taste this thing. Just give it a little mix. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. I think next time I would probably mix the caramel syrup with the white chocolate. That would be really good. But if you're a white chocolate fan, I think you would like this one. Not bad. It's really flavorful. Like it actually tastes really good. I just like caramel better. But at the same time, I can't stop drinking it, so it's, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> if you guys are upset that Bianco Leggero, or not Bianco Leggero, Ice Leggero is out of stock, then look into Bianco Leggero, because this, to me, tastes the same as the Ice Leggero. And like I said, Bianco Leggero is made for milk, so I think you guys will really appreciate it as an iced latte. It's really, really good. It's worth checking out, especially if you are trying to get your hands on the Ice Leggero. And these are the type of syrups that I prefer like on my coffee, on my lattes, all that stuff. I favor Tarani. I have used a little bit of Monin. I'll show you a couple of the ones that I have from Mon Monin. I think, I don't know how they pronounce it. But um, mainly Tarani is where it's at with the syrups. I do have a couple sauces that I wanted to share with you guys. I haven't tried them just yet. But this is going to be actually more of like a haul as well as tell you guys my favorite syrups. So before we get started, comment down below what is your favorite flavor especially with torani if you guys have tried their flavors what is your favorite syrup flavor for your coffees so let me know in the comments i think mine has to be hands down caramel any type of caramel because i think they have classic caramel salted caramel regular caramel i don't know the difference they all taste nice and caramelly to me so usually anything with caramel is like my favorite so this one is very very exciting to me I don't even know if you guys have seen anything like this. When I saw it on the website, I was like, oh yeah, I have tried a lavender honey latte. And I like those kind of lattes. So I figured I'm going to try to recreate it. So that is why I have the lavender syrup from Tarani. I've never tried it. I hope it's good. It's kind of scary that it actually looks purple. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but it's lavendery in color. You know what? Let me open it. That smells good. 
It actually smells like lavender and like those lattes that I've had before, so I'm actually really excited. If you guys want to see a lavender or honey lavender latte recipe video, give this video a thumbs up because I would really like to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, this is the first one that I have. And before I continue, I should say that I used to order a lot of my syrups from Amazon, but I noticed that I even mentioned it in one of my Target hauls. The Target like size are a lot smaller at Target, but it was a lot cheaper. And so I started like doing some research and everything that I ordered from here is from the Torani website, which the price difference with Amazon and Torani's website is huge. It's almost doubled through Amazon. I think Amazon secretly charges you the shipping, but if you're buying more than one bottle through Amazon, you end up paying a lot more. So I did pay for shipping through Torani's site, but I paid a lot less if I were to, you know, compare to buying it on Amazon. I think if you buy $50 and more with Torani, it's free shipping, so there's that. But they have their sauces there, they have tons of flavors, they have a lot of things. And so that's why I ended up ordering sauces as well. I'm gonna link that info in the description box so that you guys know that it's a lot cheaper, you know, compared to Amazon. I thought it was cheaper through Amazon, but it's not. Next flavor that I ordered is this one. Like I said, this is like literally my favorite flavor, classic caramel. And these are all glass bottles and they're the 25 ounce bottles, so they're huge. This is white chocolate. I ordered a small one just because I've never tried this syrup before and I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so I ordered the small one through their website. But these bottles, even this one, I think it's eight. Through Amazon, you end up paying like 12 or 14, 15 dollars sometimes. Eight dollars and I think this one was five or six. So, I mean, the price is really good through this website. This didn't come in that order. I've actually like just had this laying around, but I wanted to share with you guys. I like to order the pumpkin spice syrup during like the fall and winter time because my husband really likes pumpkin spice. I like it, I can do without it, but I do like it. And so I always try to like order stuff like with like pumpkin spice flavors. So this is their pumpkin spice syrup. They have another one that's um, just like pumpkin. I wonder if I'll like that one better. This one, I don't know. I feel like I have to use a lot of it to get the flavor out. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this is the pumpkin spice flavor. And they do sell their pumps on Tarani's website. I believe they're $5. They came in handy when I had these just kind of laying on my coffee bar. If you guys do prefer just having the bottle out like i said it's a glass bottle super nice um so yeah you would just need the the pump and you'd be good to go okay so i ordered sauces so i ordered the chocolate or the white chocolate syrup and then i ordered their white chocolate sauce then i ordered their dark chocolate uh, sauce and this was my mistake i thought i ordered a caramel sauce and it's actually a pumpkin pie flavored sauce so i'm gonna keep it obviously but I thought it was a caramel one so i do have to end up buying a caramel one but probably not for some time because i actually ended up ordering let me go get it hold on i ended up ordering this one this is from amazon fresh but i think 365 is a whole foods brand this is their organic salted caramel sauce and oh my god it is so good this is what i use to drizzle over like my cups of iced coffee the cup itself i'll drizzle this all around the edges and then when the milk is pouring it kind of just melts over the whole drink this sauce is so good worth checking out that salted part of the caramel flavor is really really good i ended up buying the smuckers caramel syrup sauce thing don't do that to yourselves it's not it's nothing compared to this and I'm imagining this would be a lot better than the Smucker's one. As you guys know, now that I have my syrups, I'm gonna fill these up with them. These are the containers that I have my syrups in. I used to put them or leave them in, the, in their own containers, but I don't know, I just feel like this is a lot cuter, even though I do have to refill it more often, but it just looks a little bit nicer on my coffee bars. So I'll refill these. Actually, let's do that right now. Why not? So this is the classic caramel. Just fill that up. Okay. 
And then, like I said, I just buy these little spouts because the spouts that it actually came with were too, like, they just would only let out a couple drops at a time. Ooh, I think I overfilled it. I'm telling you, something always happens. And I'm just going to do this. It's already spilling. But yeah, once I clean it up, I'll be good to go. This one is set up. There you go. And that's how it looks once it's all filled up. It's not whiskey. For those of you who thought it was whiskey i'll put this one up later i was going to show you guys the flavors that i have from monin monin or whatever i have irish cream these are all like little sample sizes that i got for christmas um but i have the amaretto irish cream hazelnut and then caramel and vanilla they have these i think even like in these sizes through nespresso's website i've never ordered them through them but they're pretty good. I feel like they're not as, like, their flavors are not as strong as Tarani's because I have, like, you, you could see, you could tell that I've used the Irish cream. I've used the Amaretto, and surprisingly, I haven't used the caramel one, but I've used the hazelnut, and I feel like Tarani just has more flavor when it comes to the uh, syrups. So um, I don't mind them. You know, I'm going to use them up, but I don't see myself purchasing them in the future. So I think Tarani... In my opinion is where it's at it's where it's at with syrups but yeah i think that is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye